What's going on everyone and welcome back to YGOPD, your Yu-Gi-Oh! Professional Development. And today we are back with another installment of how to beat X meta deck in under five minutes. And this time we are crushing Centurion. This suggestion came to me from one of my subscribers on my community post last week. I really like this suggestion a lot since I had the chance to actually play against this recently at my 3v3 tournament yesterday to a really good player and good friend of mine. Shout out to Mario. I think there's a lot of higher level players that might potentially pivot to this deck from what I just saw and experienced since a lot of people regularly may not want to pay the price point for this deck, and it's still not really too well known, so I wanted to try to cover it. I'm also going to go ahead and do a little bit more regular community posts on Wednesdays, so stay tuned for those if you want to give more input on future videos. I'm going to go ahead and leave face cam off for these style of videos. I kind of like the look of that. It's a little more cleaner to me without that, but with that said, I want to go ahead and shout out all of my recent subs of the channel. Swish, Javier, Ruben, DV, DK, uh, Truen, Sherwin, Thomas, Terrence, Akira, Nick, Gabriel, Jacob, and Trunk. Sorry if I kind of stumbled or butchered any of those names, but thank you all so much for joining the channel. It really does mean a lot. If you like what I do and you want to stick around and you're not subscribed, um, we'd love to have you here. Just make sure that your subscriptions are public when you subscribe so I can give you a shout out in the next video. Now, let's go ahead and throw a timer up and get into how to beat Centurion in under five minutes. As usual, we're going to start with the going first piece, both with what hand traps and floodgates to do. And the name of the game for how you beat Centurion here, there's two main goals. One is stopping the initial synchro summon or stopping the future synchro summons. For hand traps, there's a few options, but not as many since the deck makes their initial combo under five summons, so nib is not that great. On top of that, unless they lead with cards like maybe the Horus package, most of the time they're really only searching about once through the initial combo, so droll is not that good either. The hand traps I'm focusing on right now are Ash Blossom, particularly for Emseti, or the first add off Primera. Yeah, a lot of the time they might have the extender for Primera, but sometimes they don't, or at the very least, it helps if they do have the extender keep them off the counter trap that would otherwise insulate the Calamity Lock that happens on your turn. Ghost Ogre is also pretty solid as long as you focus on using it for the Centurion monsters like specifically Trudea or Primera. Since the field spell protects itself while there's a name on board, it also helps with cards like King Sark. The last little mention there are graveyard removal hand traps like DD Crow or Vistials. You want to try to hit the name that they're trying to place back at end phase with the Synchro so that way you can try to keep them off two different names to get that Synchro happening. For Floodgates, it's about as straightforward as you could expect. There are different attributes, so goes in solid, different types. Rivalry is pretty good. D-Barrier is okay, but not super great, since again, they can kind of just set up and then just decide to wait and then play on your turn. That's pretty much it for going first. I think it's pretty straightforward there. For going second, we're focusing on board breakers or maybe even like what you would call board stoppers or board slowers just because this deck plays a lot, maybe even a little bit more than normal on your turn than theirs. So um, I actually had the chance to play a few of these cards more recently in my Rescue Ace build in a combination of main and side and prepping for some of the bigger events. And I've been really happy with how they performed overall and specifically with the Centurion matchup. So the ones I've been the biggest fan of have been Book of Eclipse, Spellbound, Enemy Controller, and Cosmic Cyclone. All of them do pretty much the same purpose by pretty much helping you prevent the Synchro Summon on your turn to avoid the Calamity Lock. Again, given they don't have the Counter Trap, you get to hit the board when they have names on there to try to quick Synchro with cards like Spellbound, Eclipse, or Enemy Controller, removing those materials or preventing them from being able to be used for a legal Synchro Summon. You can also preemptively hit one of the names with Cosmic Cyclone as another option in the Spell Trap Zone, or just wait for the Field Spell to attempt to activate to try to quick Synchro on your turn. An honorable mention is Forbidden Droplet, to try to negate Crimson Dragon so they can't get that Calamity on the board as well, or even just the Cosmic Blazer. They need to not have the Counter Trap, of course, or maybe it's better if they do. If you have bad luck like me, I always have a trap in hand, aka Extinguish or Contain, that you can discard so they can't respond with the Counter Trap, and then you're just typically free to play, trying to get through just one Omni Negate on their board, plus maybe a couple Hand Traps left. The other note on why I like all of these quick play spells is Centurion does main cross out and typically focuses on hand trap targets, at least game one. But even then, going into games two and three, these quick play spells are a little less common and hopefully a little less likely to be hit by cross out. So you have some better coverage going into some of their natural defensive cards as well. And that's it. That's how to beat Centurion in just about five minutes. Let me know what you think. 
Was this helpful? Are there texts that you use that I missed that you want to share? Feel free to comment them down below. I will be at the Ohio Regional next weekend, either playing Rescue Ace to try to be try hard and, and get a full on top. Um, and I've already got my Indite out for the season. So there is a chance I might play a couple Copium decks for fun uh, since I already do have my invite. But either way, I'll be there. I'll be playing. And with all that said, I'll see you all in the next one and I'll see you next week. Later.